At Atomic, we specialise in the XR6 Falcon double overhead cam engine. We get a lot of trouble to develop and design and manufacture specific components to make sure the engines live in the heat of competition. But one of the biggest problems that we find with engines is detonation or poor tuning. Now, detonation, for those who don't know, is uh, the, like the uncontrolled combustion of the fuel and air mixture in the cylinder. Under normal combustion conditions, fuel and the air burns in a, in a sort of a controlled rate across the top of the piston, pushing the piston down. But when it gets into a detonation phase, or pinging, or knocking, as the same term, um, it explodes like dynamite in the cylinder, and it causes massive, massive damage to the pistons, to the rings, to the gudgeon pins, to the bearings. And now what I thought I'd just do was just show you with a little bit of a close-up here of example of uh, Cosworth pistons, which we use pretty well exclusively in our engines, what they're like when they're brand new, and what they're like after they've been subjected to uh, quite a lot of detonation. Now, if you can see that on the screen there, the Cosworth pistons have anti-detonation bands machined into the top ring land to help absorb and diffuse any of the detonation that takes place. Now, I'll take that piston away, and if I put this one in, it's very easy to see this particular piston has run for what I'm led to believe a couple of hours under detonating conditions. You can see the corrosion, the detonation is like smashing into the top of the piston 50 or 60 times a second with a massive, massive hammer. So it just does ridiculous damage to the piston and the bearings and the gudgeon pins, etc. Because detonation is so damaging to the engine components, it doesn't really matter whether you've got a stock standard streetcar or a top fuel dragster, if detonation is present, you are going to have problems with the engine. It's going to reduce the life of the engine substantially. Um, and that's why we don't cover detonation under warranty, just like any other engine builder in the world. If there's any detonation related evidence in the engine, it's a result of poor tuning or the wrong octane of the fuel or too much boost or whatever else it is but it's not a responsibility of the actual engine builder. And I know over time, you know, people blame the engine builder for everything when things go wrong, but at the end of the day, when it comes to detonation, it is a tuning related issue. Now, when we ship our engines out, we test run them all 100% to make sure that everything's perfect with the engine. We check the oil pressure, we re the head, we change the oil, we change the filter, we cut the filter open and check it inside so there's, see there's no debris or anything like that inside it. So we know, uh, that when the engine leaves, it is as good as we can possibly make it. So once it's out of our hands, well, it's in the hands of the tuner or the owner or somebody, whoever else is going to be looking after finishing off the job, getting the engine in the car and getting the car running. We even make sure that the ring seal is, is well underway by doing a leak down test. No engine leaves our shop if it's got more than 10% leak down. We will continue the bedding in process of the rings until we've got between 5 and 10% leak down and then it's ready to go. So we do the best we possibly can with our engines to ensure that they're going to live a long time. But if it's going to be subjected to detonation, you're going to have problems.